Well, hello. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so you're probably wondering why I just showed you a bunch of clips of sculptures. I absolutely love sculpture. I'm not a sculptor myself, um, but I try to create a three-dimensional illusion on a two-dimensional surface. The reason that me saying hello is funny because my first introduction to sculpture was back in the 1980s, which if you want to know how old I am, <laughs> that gives you a rough idea. When I saw Lionel Richie's video for the song Hello. Now, brief synopsis of that video. Lionel Richie plays a professor named Mr. Reynolds, and Mr. Reynolds is in love with his blind student, Laura. And he proceeds to stalk this beautiful girl throughout college campus. And she's incredibly talented. I mean, she can dance, she's in this acting class, she's like, whoa. That is crazy. But it culminates at the end of this video with a student coming in saying, Mr. Reynolds, there's something going on in the sculpture class. I think you should go and check it out. And he walks in there and Laura, this beautiful blind student, has sculpted a bust of Lionel Richie's head. Now, aside from the whole premise of this video where this professor is in love with his student and he stalks her throughout the school saying, hello, is it me you're looking for? Which I think is questionable behavior, but whatever. Um, the fact that she was able to create a rather accurate depiction of Lionel Richie's face. Mind blown. Here I am, this small child like, how did that happen? Oh my God, like that is crazy. She's, she's amazing. Anyway, point being, that was my introduction to sculpture and I've loved sculpture ever since. Thank you, Lionel Richie. <sighs> Getting off topic. Anyway, the inspiration for the mixed media painting that I just completed is a sculpture, my favorite sculpture of all time, the Pieta by Michelangelo. And I'm going to show you exactly how I created this painting from start to finish. So stay tuned. I'm Lydia Broderick and welcome to my channel. So the Pieta is the inspiration for this mixed media painting and, um, mainly just one part of the sculpture. I didn't want to paint the whole entire sculpture. I just wanted to paint Mary's face because that is the part that I, I love the expression on her face. I love how sorrowful it is. And so I'm going to hand this over to voice over Lydia. Voice over Lydia. Voice over Lydia. And she's going to explain exactly how I went through this process. All right. <sighs> Okay, so I'm starting with some acrylic washes and then I mainly did a lot of this with a sea sponge. I'm using a, some of the lighter transparent colors like Indian yellow and then burnt sienna and just using a straight edge to create some geometrical shapes. But I really didn't have a plan for what I was going to do with this painting. I hadn't thought about putting Mary's face on here at all at this point. It was just kind of like I was creating kind of a cool abstract background and didn't really know what I was going to do with it. It was just kind of being creative and, you know, going with the flow. So I started doing this kind of honeycomb pattern on there because I thought, oh, this would be kind of a cool idea if I put some gold leaf on. So it took forever to paint this adhesive on and... You know, that was a very long process. It looks quick on here, but I always find that watching things on time lapse after I was watching them in real time is fascinating to me because I'm like, wow, I just makes looks so easy. So after 45 minutes of letting the adhesive dry, then I put on the gold leaf and brush off all the excess pieces and everything. And, and I continue going in with a sponge and using some acrylic inks, some acrylic paint, Kind of creating some depth and dimension with that and i think i took uh some stencil and i used some spray paint too as well yep right there i'm using some spray paint some stencil um putting a little pattern work in there and kind of just making it look kind of cool i think it has kind of a cool background to it and 
That's really neat. So the interesting thing is when I did decide to um, put the Pieta is because I had been going through some of my old sketches and I found this charcoal sketch that I had did, uh, that I, that I had did, that I did about 10 years ago of Michelangelo's Pieta Mary, the face. And so that's actually what I used as a reference was a sketch that I did 10 years ago. And the funny thing about this whole entire segment of this time lapse is I'm actually painting it upside down so that you can see it right way up as I do it, which is kind of funny. But, um, I highly recommend doing that. It gives you a totally different perspective of what you're painting if you actually paint it upside down. Um, so yeah, but right now I'm still just using a sponge. I'm using a sponge for all of this just to get it that, give it that like kind of a cool texture. Um, I like the sponging texture. I think it looks really modeled. It looks neat. It gives it an antique look to it and just put in some highlights or whatever before I go on to putting oil paint on where then I'll be able to see it right way up, which is a great vantage point to actually paint with it right way up. I quite enjoy that. So I go in with the oil paints. I'm mainly using oil glazes at this point um, to try and give it a little bit more juiciness and some depth and some dimension and kind of going in there and making it look like almost a like that that almost double exposure look to it. And I do like the kind of honeycomb look. Because it almost, what is it, like that, yeah, the superimposed or double exposure look that you can get from things where you're painting an image on top of another image, right? Double exposure, that's called double exposure, isn't it? I don't know, Lydia. So, anyway, this is kind of how this whole process went about, and I hope you enjoy this video. I really enjoyed creating this painting, and... Yeah. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts are on this process. Thank you, voiceover Lydia. She did a great job. Really like her. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I would like to show you that this is the sketch that I did about 10 years ago, charcoal sketch. And this is what I used as my reference for the painting. And I will also show you a couple of sculptures from my other favorite sculptor, my son. This is Angry Fish. Angry Fish is something my son did when he was little and I treasure it always because it has very angry eyebrows. This is a teacup he made for me because he always sees me with one. Beautiful, right? And this is a wishing well. Many wishes have gone into this little well beautiful artwork. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye! Now, I myself am not a sculpture. Sculpt, sculpt, sculptor. I am not a sculpture. I am a real person. I am a human. I was not molded from clay or chiseled marble. I might have broken the mold, though. It had to, because it was already cracked. You are an angry, angry fish. Are you a shark? It's wearing a hat. But it has like this huge dorsal fin. I highly recommend that you go and watch the video for Hello um, by Lionel Richie so you can be as inspired and appreciative of that bust as I was and have been for almost 40 years now.